today. From Acrisure Stadium in Pittsburgh, this is Madden Football on EA Sports. see Kenny Pickett and the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the world steel capital in the city of Bridges, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and Acrisure Stadium. Today, it's an AFC North matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Kicker Chris Boswell has it ready to go, and we are underway from Pittsburgh. Fields it right around the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here are the Bengals on offense, and here is Joe Burrow ready to lead them at quarterback. Hey, we all love a good story, and what we like even more, guys who can fight through adversity. Joe Burrow coming out of high school, goes to Ohio State, doesn't get a chance to start, transfers to LSU, not thought to be a top prospect, ends up the number one pick in the draft, and justifies it. Tremendous play, excellent mobility, and leadership off the charts. Colin, no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. It's a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On third down, Burrow. They're looking for Higgins, but it is intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six. Steeler touchdown. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And he'll put it through to make it 7 nothing Steelers. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Burrow to Boyd there for the Cincy first. Mixon will try the right side, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Burrow's throw into the hands of Sample. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. That makes him now 0 for 2 here in the first quarter on third down conversions. And now they'll look to their defense because they need them to step up so they don't fall further behind here in the early going. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. And he's got Hurst, his tight end. 
And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they wind up with a gain of 11 there on fourth down. 11 yards on the pickup, and the Bengals are going to have a first down. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball and pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. He'll get it inside the 20. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Gavin, not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Larry Ogunjobi there to make the tackle. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Burrow. And a fine chase on the right side complete. It'll go as a gain of four. And now that sets up third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, mix it. And he will be very close to a first down but I see the closed fist of the referee and that means fourth down that'll be a pickup of just two and that'll bring up fourth down now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop isn't it but he's more than that this guy's nimble and quick more than a space eater he just made a great play there going with their tight end on fourth and he has the first down before he's tackled at the five they only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Here we go. Right <laughs> they go play action with Burrow. And that is caught. He's got it for Bengal touchdown. Hayden Hurst, a five-yard touchdown. And the Bengals are an extra point away from evening this one up. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have, and you absolutely must. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How's the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and we are tied at seven. That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it ends with a Bengals score. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And Sims says, let's bring it out to the 25. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. And when you watch Kenny Pickett play, you see a young man who got better every season in college and really blossomed in his final campaign, took his game to a new level and made him a first-round pick in the NFL. He's the type of kid who can beat you with his mind, beat you with his arm, and occasionally with his legs. A tough, skilled performer. Kenny Pickett, he's got some moxie to him. 
So a roughing the passer penalty there, CD. And we know that these pass rushers love to get after rookie quarterbacks, but they still got to do it within the scope of the rules. And that time, the hit came just a little bit too late. And the official wouldn't think twice about pulling his flag on that one. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Looking to throw again on second down. Pickett. Setting up the screen, Harris. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Back to throw, pick it. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Pick it now from the gun here. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. One, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Miles Jack there to make the tackle. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 36, Burrow. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of the quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Inside handoff to Mixon. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. He's going to have the hook up here to chase. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage.
second and goal. Again, it's Mixon. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Now Burrow. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Devin Bush driving in and picking up the sack. McPherson's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. If they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for it. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Last time out, they had that long 50 plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay. Do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And that's going to be incomplete. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Looking to throw, pick it. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Now Burrow on first down. He'll drop this one down to mix it. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice... for the offense. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Here we go, here we go. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. He finds it now, a loose football. The ball comes out. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. But he has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more... Look at Watson. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. The defense, they were 
swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. And all the way down inside the five to the four. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Nixon is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Nothing special there to show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. They have the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Sims going to go ahead and hold on to this one, and they'll start at the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. A loss of three on the sack made by multiple defenders. Pickett and the Steelers in need of a big play here. Third and long after the sack. They'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. And that will be incomplete. So after three drives and three touchdowns combined between these two clubs, finally we get a defensive stop. Yes, and welcome to the party, defensive players. And glad to have you because for a while there, it almost felt like it was 11 going downfield on air. Okay, so to be able to have someone come up, make a stop, now we got a football game going. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Bengals take over first and 10. The Bengals drive about to get going. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Meanwhile, Burroughs throw here on target to Hurst. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve. You throw one to him every so often, but more than they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Cameron Hayward in on the tackle. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Burrow looking to pass. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly. And this is taken in at the five. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. They'll give it to Mixon. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon with his second touchdown here in this first half. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, 
foot race to the pylon, and this time he had the speed to win that race. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And Sims says, let's bring it out to the 25. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Off the play fake. Here's Pickett. It's brought in by Harris. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. But it certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. And the Bengals are going to take possession of the football. They brought the house that time on the young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers. He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Jamar Chase, 30 yards. And the Bengals continue to pull away here in this first half. But what a quick turnaround there. They get the football. Next play, boom, touchdown. I've been in a situation before where a turnover occurs, and if you're over on the bench with your defensive mate and you talk about what to do on your next series, and all of a sudden you hear sudden change, you've got to get out on the field and defend right away. Not everyone is mentally prepared to go. Is that what is yelled on the sidelines a lot of times? That, among other things. <laughs> Maybe some words we can't share here. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep this one PG. FCC violation. No doubt. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Sims going to go ahead and hold on to this one, and they'll start at the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. And he will have a Steelers first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. Pick it now to throw off the play fake. Escaping the pressure right. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. First and 10. Here's Pickett. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Got his man. It's caught for the Steelers touchdown. Steven Sims, 31 yards. And the Steelers get a bit closer. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that'll cut this to a 17-point spread. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taken in at the three. 
And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the kick. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. A big play there for Cincinnati. 53 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Burrow will throw. Throw left side caught by the tight end Hurst. And the Bengals are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Now it's Burrow. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Jamar Chase with his second touchdown here in this first half. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. But well, let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. And Sims says, let's bring it out to the 25. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat then you can look at the scoreboard. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the side. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates going to check on it. Because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. you got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And the Steelers are going to get the football back at their own 17. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 17-yard line. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's got his tight end, Fryermuth, over the middle. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. They run the play fake. Here's Pickett. He finds Pickens over the middle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there at a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On first and ten, it's Pickett. Open man downfield is Sims. He's got it. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and ten. Pick it. He's going to throw it again. He gets it complete to Harris. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. the red 
zone now. They'll look to throw. Finds Pickens outright. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Throwing again on second down. Pickett. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Dialing up another pass here. Pickett. Open man is Johnson. Touchdown Steelers. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Steelers are able to cut into that deficit. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming. Extra point now by Boswell. And that one cuts this to a 17-point spread. For the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. A one-handed catch, that's one thing, but with a defender right there, that was a heck of a play. It used to be that one-handed catch was instinctive in a game. Now it's a practiced move. They work on it before, after, during practice sessions. It becomes part of their repertoire, and it pays off. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. The Bengals going to the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Here's a run with Mixon, and he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Joe Mixon on his way to a game three first half touchdowns and the Bengals will extend their lead in the final minute of the half extra point by McPherson up and good and the route is on here in this first half after the touchdown McPherson on to kick this one away and not wanting to risk anything here late in the half He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Pick it to throw on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. 57 to 57 to Try him with Pickett here on third down. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. To return is Taylor. So a change of possession here on the punt. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. Well, that came a little abruptly here. So working on my apple up in the booth. Hang on here. Let me spit this out. And we can get to the third quarter now. The Steelers going to get the football first here. Trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. 
And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. On second down, this is Harris. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Pickett. Throw left side, got to be taken in by Harris. And he will have a Steelers first down. They needed four, he doubled that. He wound up getting eight. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them, go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. To the air on first down with Pickett. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Pickett back to throw. Open man. That's the tight end fire move. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Pick it now on first down. That's caught by the 6'8 tight end, Zach Gentry. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Pick it right back to the air again. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Von Bell. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. he's doing okay. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. A gain of three, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Sliding out of the pocket. Open man, it's complete to Higgins. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here we go. Mix it up the middle. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 74 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. First down. Here's Burrow. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Jamar Chase, 45 yards. And the Bengals have opened the lead up to 30. A familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, Time to start stretching and loosening it up. You may get some playing time in this one. 
After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Sims going to go ahead and hold on to this one, and they'll start at the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are right, you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Call it a gain of a yard, and that's going to make it fourth down. The Steelers send out their putter now as he'll put it away for the fourth time today. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. Jamar Chase hoping to be at center stage yet again as the offense returns to the field. Oh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Bring him over to our team so we don't have to cover him anymore because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that mid-game trade is going to happen, but good call. A loss on that play. And now third down gets tougher. Third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Burrow. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Pick it. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line. He's sacked. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Oswell's kick is good. And now they'll just need four touchdowns as the deficit is now 28. So he missed that field goal earlier says not this time able to knock it through give his guys three I like his poise I like his confidence his belief in himself sometimes when you miss that first one you see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one not in this case stepped right up like a pro and they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. 
The Bengals drive about to get going. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Now it's Dixon running right. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 88 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Off the play fake. Here's Burrow. And this is broken up. Time there, and now fourth down. The Bengals bring out their punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. It'll be a 39-yard punt. Give him a good 10 yards on the return. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now pick it. And the catch made by Johnson. And he will have a Steelers first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Back to throw, pick it. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Harris. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Pick it a look to throw it here. And he'll just get rid of it. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Meanwhile, Pickett's throw complete there to Johnson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 30. <laughs> Off play action, Pickett. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. There's Sam Hubbard that time in there to bring him to the ground. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Pickett, a quick throw, knocked away and incomplete. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Looking to throw, Pickett. Going up top. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And this is good. It was one kind of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that drops a deficit from 28 to 25. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white flag and just, just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball. Like
like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball to their territory. Back to Mixon on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. A handoff to Mixon. Calling no game there, and it leads to a fourth down. The Bengals bring out their punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And the Steeler offense, they're set up nicely as they take over. From the gun, here's Pickett. Completes this one to Pickens. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And some space here. And in for the Steelers, touchdown. Pat Fryer move. 34 yards, and the Steelers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Oswell good with the extra point, and that'll cut the lead down to 18. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it ends with a Pittsburgh touchdown. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. There's a look at receiver Jamar Chase as the Bengals get set to go on offense. And I think we both agreed he could have a really good game with this matchup, but over 200 yards now. I don't think we saw it as that good. And I think what really makes it special is when games like this are occurring, it's not just getting locked in and in the zone and on a roll. It's continuing to adjust throughout the game because you know the defense is kicking coverages towards him, trying their best to slow him down, and he keeps getting the better of them. Yeah, whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. So just three yards on the completion there. And now third down and six to go. Now it's Burrow. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. The safety, Terrell Edmonds, picks it. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. So they obviously declined that, and it is a touchdown. They still had the option, but let's face it. There's no option. There's no option when you score a touchdown. An easy call for them. Extra point put through by Boswell, and that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And he will not bring it out. He'll just go down to a knee here for a touchback, and the ball will come out to the 25. Jamar Chase hoping to be at center stage yet again as the offense returns to the field. And he is just one reception away from 10 in this game. I, I don't know what they need to do. Pressure comes and the Steelers take him down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. To try again after the sack. 
Photo. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. Well, things obviously not going their way. Trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that penalty going to go ahead and give the other side some extra yardage. We all know it's an intense game, and things can get heated out there. That's part of the battle. The bottom line, you got to keep your cool. That was not an example of doing that. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Once again, they run with Mixon. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. So a big play now as the Steelers will go for two. Pickett will try to throw for this. And he will get into the end zone as a two-point conversion is successful. And the lead is down to a field goal here in the fourth. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taking it about the one. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Here's a look at receiver Jamar Chase as the Bengals get set to go on offense. So far, he has the trio of touchdowns. Obviously, it's been a pretty good game for him. So if this were hockey, they'd be throwing their hats out on the ice for the hat trick, right? I'm not sure exactly what you do in the NFL except applaud and continue to hope you see a little bit more of this. What a tremendous game. You want to start a new tradition? What can we throw on the field? I don't know. We'll throw your mic out there. <laughs> a lot of fans would like that. <laughs> Cut his mic off. Three touchdowns so far. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Burrow looking to pass. That's the tight end, Hurst with it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. Here's a give to Mixon. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. 122 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. That one, a first down pickup of eight. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And he'll get this pretty close to a first down as he's tackled at the Steelers' 35. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. And again, here's Pete Ryan. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Starting to feel a little to me like the air is coming out of the balloon, so to speak, defensively. They're taking their will from them right now. That's what they're doing. Whatever they want to call, it's working. They're handling things up front. And it's not just the offensive line. It's everyone. You're seeing the guys on the perimeter blocking downfield and making sure that they're secure. So, yeah, you're exactly right. The air is out of the balloon. And right now, they're almost lifeless. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive will take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Now a carry for Piran. And he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three and leaves him with fourth and one. But forget knowing where the first down line was. 
This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They have more people to the football and snuffed out the play. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run it here with P. Ryan, and he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Now P. Ryan. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Here's P. Ryan. Well, he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Try and throw forward with Burrow. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll go to P. Ryan, trying to pound it in. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Samaj P. Ryan taking it in from two yards out. And the Bengals will add to their fourth quarter lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt-away-the-game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run-pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And Sims says, let's bring it out to the 25. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Here's Pickett. And that's complete. It's Sims. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 41-yard line. Flushed out right. And his throw is incomplete. It's been a nice day for him as a passer and as a runner. One of the few mistakes he's made in this ball game. The wrong choice on that one. That one goes incomplete. Now pick it. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Bengals grab it. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing they to, had that, having to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, didn't get it done, and now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores, pretty much game, set, man. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? Burrow down to a knee, and that should be the final act of this one. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, Oh, how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one.
Uh, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're gonna cherish. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. And with that, we say so long from Pittsburgh. Tonight, from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Justin Herbert and the L.A. Chargers taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Night beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Tonight, we've got a good AFC matchup on tap between the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Chargers. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway in Southern California. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And at quarterback from the University of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. It'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw there complete to Allen. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside. Good for 26 and a first down. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Eleven. 
Now it's Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. Calling a gain of three on the play. And third and eight now. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That has lots of leg behind it. And the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was hoping for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. Now comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at 6'5". That's Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. Second and six, just inside the 30. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. To the air, Allen. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Allen going to go on fourth down. High throw, but the catch is made. And he is going to have the Bills first down as this defense, boy, a little too loose there. They give up a gain of 19 on fourth down. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Right back to Singletary on second down. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, once more, a strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Allen off the play fake. And here is a leaping catch. He pulled it in. The Bills passing game getting him down the field. They've got another first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Right back to Singletary on second down. Calling a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. To throw, it's Allen. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills have answered that early field goal to take a first-quarter lead. 
I do believe we came here to see a game, didn't we? And it looks like he's running what we call routes versus air. You just go out there with your offensive unit and throw the football with no defense. He's five for five on the opening drive. He was on his game there for drive number one, but my only thing is now he can't go any higher than that. He was so perfect. Could he do it again later? Yeah, all he cares about right now is making it 10 for 10, 15 for 15. <laughs> Keeping that going. And he feels like he can get it done. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Charger drive about to get going. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Running on first down, Eckler. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Back deep, Naheem Hines. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard the line. Not too bad. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football suddenly it's first and goal after the interception a quick change in the situation here Eckler he is not going to advance very far he'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage they'll say no gain on the play and it'll be second and goal From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Touchdown, Chargers! Gerald Everett from four yards out. And the Chargers are once again back in front. Extra point splits the uprights. And the lead is now 10 to seven. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. Oh, I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. Play action. Now it's Allen. He'll buy some time right. Going deep for Diggs. 
And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So that one, a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. On the counter, this is Singletary. No gain on the play there, second down. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They had leveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held them to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Allen now looks to throw. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 31 yard line. 14 yards and the Bills will get a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Charger 16. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. A give up the middle to Singletary. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Ten more there and another first down. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. <laughs> It's a six-yard touchdown pass as they have taken the lead. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. L.A. readies for its next possession. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Herbert now. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. His first catch there. Good for 10 yards and a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. He'll get this up to about the 44. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Herbert gets this into the hands of Allen. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 43. That one good for 13 and a Charger first. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a 
strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. From the 38, Herbert working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 20-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Eckler now between the tackles. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And his kick is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slant. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Allen's throw is complete. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. A give, Singletary, right side. Well, there to make the tackle, Khalil Mack. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. A gain of four that time as the drive will continue. And now they'll throw with Allen. Inside the 10. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Here's Allen to throw it. Touchdown! Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs as his guys are able to extend their lead. Here's Bass now for the extra point. up to eight. So a nice drive.
I put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. Possession switching back now to the Chargers. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Here's Herbert. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Up the middle with Eckler. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of seven, and they pick up the first. Back to throw here, Herbert. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Ed Oliver busting through to get him for a loss of six. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. From the 50, here's Herbert. And this is going to be incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? And he'll back up a few steps as he'll make the fair catch at about the eight-yard line. there will be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and ten. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 10-yard line. To throw again on second down. Allen, he's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Oh, into a sea of defenders have intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Well, their defense got them the football with an interception. They trot out there, Charles, in the very first play. They give the football right back. 
<laughs> Brand, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We got two, we got two. I hear three. Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for that, he'll get Touchdown, Buffalo! Josh Allen scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Bills will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. The Charger drive about to get going. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Herbert throw going into the hands of Williams. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Looking to throw again on second down. Herbert trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. That bumps us up to a three-possession game here and only in the second quarter, Charles. They're trying to put this game out of reach before we even hit the locker rooms for intermission. What's even tougher is making up three possessions against a defense that can make impact plays like this. They don't have this game wrapped up quite yet, but two picks already, one to the house. I think it's fair to say they're headed in the right direction. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Throwing again on second down. Herbert looking Austin Eckler's way again. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Herbert. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. After the sack on first down, Herbert. They'll find Everett there, complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw taken in by Palmer. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. The Chargers will bring out the field goal unit now. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. 
And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And the deficit falls under 20 now. It's a 19-point game. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, he's still been able to come away with points due to his leg. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. Oh, my goodness, I thought he'd peel off. Instead, he makes the fair catch at the two-yard line. Well, the Bills' offense set to take over to begin quarter number three. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. And this is going to double their room to maneuver, able to get it from the 5 to the 10-yard line. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. <laughs> Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers get a bit closer. Extra point right down the middle. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bills ready to take over. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. Singletary to get the drive started. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Allen going to throw. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice chunky yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. To throw on second and six. Allen working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 25-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. 
On play action, Allen. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Singletary will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. The Charger drive about to get going. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he is met in his track behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. He's got it to Williams. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for L.A. And this will be touched by a member of the kicking team inside the 20, and it's at the 17-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. It sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Allen. And Diggs has it. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Sebastian Joseph Day breaking through for the sack. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Uncorks one for Davis. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Derwin James with a pick. And the Chargers are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. So that run play nullified by the holding call on the tight end. Yeah, I just think he needs to get off the ball a lot quicker and get into the block a little bit more effectively. Then he doesn't have to reach and grab and try and hold on. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. 48 yards on the ground for him so far. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 
out of the gun, Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath, and that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And this returnable for Hines. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and ten at their 38. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Right back to Singletary on second down. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. On play action, Allen. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. And the Chargers are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. A handoff is Eckler. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Second and 11. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Here's Herbert. Now left, he's got it to Everett. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Well, this is caught by Williams. The result only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. Now it's Herbert. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And he's got a first down the tackle made at the Bills 41 yard line. That one good for 13 and a charger first. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 41. To the air again, Herbert. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. The Chargers on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. They're up against a third and one situation. Going back to Allen, he's got him again. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did.
Herbert throwing again. Flush to his right. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. On the give, this is Eckler. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Eckler again. And he'll be stopped up short as the tackle is made at about the three. This likely a must-have third and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Xander Horvath, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point up and through. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. McKenzie now from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now out come the Bills. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your half halfback or something like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. And he's going to have a Bills first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. 127 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. They go right back to Singletary. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he's going to have a Bills first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. On second down, Cork. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. It's a gain of and a Buffalo first down. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. First times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Throwing now is Allen. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. On the give, this is Singletary. 
And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, they go with Singletary. And he's going to wind up with a first down as he's able to even dive for a little extra yardage at the tail end there. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. To throw, it's out. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Play action. Now it's Allen. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gate of three. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll try and run. Here's Singletary. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A good run there, eight yards. Gets them much closer to the end zone with fourth and goal looming. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. Herbert and the Chargers down by 15, 214 to play. They have all three timeouts and the two-minute warning, but they need two scores. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw and coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best. But these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles. And a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along. But if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Right back to Singletary on second down. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. This will be caught inside the 10. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. And they run here with Singletary. And he'll be stopped just outside the five and six. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. 
And Allen is actually going to throw it here. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. Touchdown, Bills! Reggie Gilliam from six yards away. And the Bills have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. The Charger drive about to get going. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You'd have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. The Bills bring out a couple of extra defensive backs to defend this third down play. Yeah, they're going dime. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And he's gonna be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Herbert on first down now. Drops it underneath to Spiller. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And now they're in the hurry up. On second and very short. Herbert, they'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Herbert back to the air. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Buying time to his left. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Herbert now. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Tredavious White with a pick. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL.